everybody, Jeffrey here. Welcome back this week on a toy statue review again. I have another, well, not another special guest. I've got the same special guest I had yesterday. He won't go home. Uh, say hello, Ajax. Hello. We can't see you. Say hello, oh, Ajax. Hello. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, this week we got another toy, well, another statue from Gallery. We got Aquaman. It's in a big, biggish box. This one is. Okay, let's let's start as we usually do. Let's start on the artwork on the um, on the box. It's, this is from the movie, the um, Aqua movie, what was just released about a month ago. Um, the artwork. I really like it. Yeah, you know, I like the artwork. It's, it's, it's uh, in your face sort of yeah. artwork, isn't it? Really, it's pretty good. I'll turn it to the side this way. Again, we've got the um, Aquaman logo, bottom there, Aquaman. They could have just gone for a plain look all over, but they went... They could have done, effect. like the one we yeah. seen the Shazam box, that Shazam was a bit, yeah. bit, bit, bit plain. But hopefully Gallery will, will do a movie, Shazam. But anyway, this is Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman's been about for over the last 70 years. Yes, um, I'm reading it from the box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, this one is designed by uh, this Hackerman is designed by Mark Wong and Alex Ajax. Sorry, Ajax. Can you just um, who was that sculpted by? Me? I, I ain't got my glasses on. Rocco Tartanella. Well, what I done, mate? What I done? Yeah, and the box at the back is this, this. That's the statue in its all glory. Um, underneath. It's just the obviously the Warner Brothers and DC logo at the bottom. Yeah, again, this this one, the price range is between forty five and fifty UK pound, which is good value, I reckon. Good value. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll we'll open this box. Probably fast forward this bit, but we'll open this box again. My mate Ajax will open it again for me. All the um, statues. I'll open it up actually while he's getting it out of the box. Let me show you what it's all about. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got Supergirl and all these little figurines. Um, yeah, Wonder Woman, Hawk Girl. Yeah, and on the back we've got a few little little busts on the back there if you want to order them. From uh, Diamond Select Toys, so yeah, that's that. Okay, we got this this beast out of the box. We'll just cut this Celtic one off. Watch the trident. That's it. Hi, uh, I have got the Justice League Aquaman. Um, that is the um, the other suit he got. I think this piece from Gallery is is better. I think a lot better. Oh, oh God. yeah, yeah, actually, a lot better. Let me get that trident. Out. Oh, that trident's pretty good. Mm. There you go, Ajax, mate. I'll move this out of the way. I'll just get that in shot. There. Is this? Kind of oh, I'm not sure. There's no instructions how to. Come and have a look. Yeah, it comes apart. It, it comes apart. It comes in the box like but Yeah, it just comes apart like that. And you put it in his hand. Giggity. Like that. I think you put it in his hand like that. Yeah, there you go. Let's push that there. I think I should have just pushed it. That's it. That's it. There you go. Okay, we can have that like that, eh? Oh, yeah, I mean, you definitely can tell that is Jason Momoa. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that's a very good face sculpt. The face sculpt is, the, is the, looks similar to the Justice League face sculpt, 
I have, which I'll probably review one of these days. But yeah, we'll just put that back and see what we got. Just turn it into a good stance. That's it. Yeah. It, oh, what can I say? Um, from the Shazam base, we look. This has got a bigger footprint, which is is pretty good actually. The base is, I'd say, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten for the base, yeah. I'd say. Um, a lot of detail. Yeah, a lot of detail on that base. Definitely, it's not. It's not overpowering. It's just a little minute, minute sort of. Pastel colour. It's got. It's just just to bring that vibrant it on the Aquaman. It's got half a right of. What's that say? C S C I P. I don't know. I don't know that, that might mean something. I don't know. Yeah, it's nice to see Aquaman in the movie and in the in the in the the, the original colours yeah. of Aquaman, which is pretty good, pretty awesome. Um. Yeah, the base is pretty good. The, let me bring it closer and show you the sculpt on the face. There. Yeah, classic Jason Momoa. It's pretty good. They got the colours right. Even got his tattoos and tats. The hair is, is pretty good. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see the tattoos. That's quite a... Yeah, cool thing to you can't it? see that hardly on the Justice League figure. No, because I think the neck goes up on on the suit. What you got? But yeah, the hair, the hair. They got the colour. I don't know if it picks up on the camera. Now. The hair. You got the blonde bits in the hair, which is pretty. That's pretty good. It's, uh, it's I would say screen accurate. Mm. I mean, I'll probably pick some up later, but. No, it's not actually screen accurate, actually. I've just noticed something on it. These are more of a spike on his gauntlets in the film and there. <coughs> yeah. I'm most sure it is. Do you reckon it is, Ajax? Uh, I think it is. You look at that. The Fusha. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it was Steve. These are more pointy in, in the film. Yeah, probably. I mean, it, from from far, it doesn't it looks quite normal? Yeah. And then as you get closer, I'd... paint wise on his face, it's pretty, they've done a pretty good job actually. Yeah. Pretty good job. They could do a bit more around his moustache. You can see like the where the, the mold is, and they didn't paint it. Paint it, but. I don't know if that camera picks it up. But it's pretty <coughs> good. Actually. You're right there. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, it's just where it's where it's pointed out. What about his shoes? Just looking on his shoes. But yeah. I'd say it's about the same. Yeah, a bit of the same. But yeah, the colours the colours uh, yeah, it's a bit yeah, more definitely. pointed, it's a bit more pointed. They are a bit more pointed in the film. It would have been nice um, to have this bit more pointed on the on the boots and on the gauntlets at the side. It would have been great, but then again, this is for well, it's not for young children anyway because it's, it's yeah. small parts, obviously. Yeah, the sculpt is pretty good. the The suit itself, like I say, but the, that's me being nitpicky, I suppose. But the colours. Is is blended in pretty okay. I mean, they've oversprayed obviously a bit of patch at the back. Yeah. And it looks the green on the on the um, on the gills of the suit there. Is it me or is he? Obviously, I know Jason is quite a big man, but does he look quite wide at the back, like a bit too big? Do you think? Not really, it's muscles, isn't it, I suppose. Yeah, like, like me, built like yeah, yeah, yeah. brick shit yeah. you know? But no, it, I, that's just normal, I suppose. For, a, for like a muscly bloke, isn't it, I suppose. It's from that side angle, it looks. What, because like fit fitness? Yeah. It could do, what, what it could do with is keep the same sort of build, <laughs> yeah. but he needs another sort of centimetre put on him, so it's stretched, Yeah, I reckon. So, after all, it's a budget 
it's a budget um, entry level statue. Or, it's, I mean, you know, that's just a little. That's just a little thing. It doesn't ruin it. But the any. base, the base do set it off. I mean, his trident is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I wish they had this sort of trident in the Justice League. Well, it, they they say it's a trident, but it's not. It's what they call it. It's not a month's trident, isn't it? Hasn't it? Yeah, but it's not a trident. A trident is three because three yeah. in it. So it's a shame. But overall, I'm glad they brought this. Obviously, the suit eight for the film, which is it's a brilliant film, by the way. Yeah, I recommend going to see it. Definitely, definitely. It's made from the same sort of stuff as um, the. Shazam piece we reviewed. Overall, it's 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 not that heavy. I I I'd guess. What would you say that how heavy that is? In ounces or pounds? Is there pet? It's not even. It's probably a quarter of a pound in weight. I'd say. Definitely, I give it a quick measure. I think it's easier to tell face sculpts when it's actually based on somebody. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a lover of um, yeah. Jason Moore is fine, but I when I when I'm buying a, like an action figure or anything like that, I like to get like a comic book, uh, not yeah, yeah. not a movie star. Yeah, because otherwise you'll end up buying a piece, like sort of uh, Kevin Spacey. Yeah, and yeah. you got to put it in a drawer, <laughs> put it in the fire or something. You know, yeah. so this is why I don't like buying movie pieces. So to so to speak, but, but yeah, this one is great. I think the, the the suit, especially, it's quite crazy how they've actually managed to pull off the classic the, orange and green. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 cool. the colours it's, it's spot on. It's spot on. Yeah. When you got the light, when you got the light on there, it's 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 pretty good. I'll turn this light off. You can see it without the light. I mean, it's it's, it's a dark figure anyway. But when you got the sort of light on it, it's, it's pretty good. I'll give it a quick measure. I'll measure the base for you. Um, lengthwise, the base. The base wise, you're looking at a 10 inch base. Again, which is um, you know 26 centimeters. Uh, that's long. And the width, you're looking at about eight inches. So 20 centimeters, 20 centimeters by um, 26 centimeters base, which is a big big footprint for for um, a statue. Uh, the height wise, obviously the, the trident is probably the same height on eye level. The front the front is sort of I believe b- below the base. You're looking at ten and a half, is that? Yeah, about ten and a half, ten and a quarter sort of inches, which is twenty um again, twenty twenty six, twenty seven, I say twenty seven inches as sorry, twenty seven. Twenty seven centimetres in height, which is adequate for like a, a normal shelf size. You know, if you want to display this, it's pretty good. Even in a box, if it, you can display it in the box easily as well. If you want to keep the box intact, you could you could do so. I, I think yeah. I think it'll look quite good next to the rest of them in the Justice League instead of the one. Yeah, that's what I, you know. That's what I might do actually. I might get the uh, the I got I got the complete set of the Justice League. I might remove Jason Momoa, the Justice League one, and I might put that in its place because this one looks. And have a lot better. Yeah, I will give this figure uh, the base. I no date the base for for the gallery. I'll give it ten out of ten for the base. Yeah, they're doing good on the base. I mean, it, it, you know, that little diorama at the back there. It's pretty good. Um, you say ten out of ten is that, is that for base? Hey, Jax? Yeah, I'd say so. It's definitely a lot better than the Shazam one. Uh, miles better. Yeah, I mean, like I so said, the paint job all overall paint job. It's not a ten out of ten, definitely not. Um, I'll give the the paint job the, the seven. I'll give the, the seven out of ten for the, for the for the sort of a paint job on that. Like the suit itself, actually, I will give that eight eight out of ten because I like to have it screen accurate. Yeah. You know. What do you reckon? Yeah, I can't. I, I can't really see a fault with the costume itself. I mean, it's quite cool that they have, obviously it's in the movie anyway, but how they've really made the the greens. Obviously, his boots and his gauntlets are a lot more vibrant than his trousers because I think if his if his trousers were the same colour as that, then he would look a bit silly. Yeah, yeah, um, but, yeah. But yeah, I, I quite like the I quite like the little his little skirt he's got at the back as well. Um, it just adds to it, I think. Yeah, they do actually. I'm just having a look. Warrior, under, just have like. a look underneath it. 
Yeah, I can see the bum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does actually. Yeah, but but you know, overall, overall, I'll give this statue um, in my collection. I've got other pieces for the price. I'll give it a nine out of ten. I yeah. think o- overall, nine out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You I reckon? Agree. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's good. Excellent job. That concludes um, for the statue review. This this uh, more today then, not this week because I'll be probably post one every day, not every day. Bloody hell, I had too many videos. Anyway, I'll leave it in that stance. I, d- I don't know where to get the perfect stance because I like to see the background. It's a shame <laughs> you wouldn't turn it that way so I can see the background. Like that. Do it again. Yeah, like I suppose like that. I'll, I'll display them on the shelf like that. I think and turn that just a tad. Yeah, like that. Looking on this side, you know, from the yeah. camera there. But yeah, yeah that's good. Great. Okay, everybody, thanks very much for watching my video. I'd like to thank um, Ajax again. Thank you, Ajax. That's right. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, please comment on the comments below. If there's any other statues you would like me to review, and I'll try my best to, <coughs> to put them on here. Thanks very much. Um, Jeffrey out. Thank <laughs> you.